Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. How do I use the BSP brushes geometry editing extrude tool? Let's go ahead and jump right into this. We'll go into BSP box and we'll create a brand new box to play with. We'll go into our geometry editing tools with Shift F5 and we're going to go ahead and go to extrude. Now you may notice an issue here. Well, nothing happens. We cannot extrude. Well, you're only going to be able to extrude. You're only going to be able to extrude if you have a face selected. If you notice here, I have an edge, no option. I have a vertice, no option. But I have an edge selected. Now I can go ahead and extrude. You'll also notice I can extrude with multiple edges selected. Let's just cover the basics. So what is extruding? Extruding is basically pulling an edge out to make more edges. We'll go ahead and hit extrude and you'll notice it gave us an error. It only works in the local coordinate space. If we switch it back to world, we're going to have an issue. We'll go back to extrude. It'll give us the error and it's going to switch it back again automatically. What it means by the local coordinate space is if I was to take this object and I rotate it, let's say we rotate it like that and we have world space turned on. This edge, assume it, there we go, stop it, click it. World space is basically Z is up, Y is gonna be that direction, X is gonna be that direction. It's always based on the world. Local space is based on the orientation of this object. So you'll notice this object as rotated, this is now the X, that's now the Z, and that's now the Y. When you extrude, you basically extrude out from where you are, so it's going to use local space. So some, that's something to keep in mind, and it does warn you. So what's extruding, and how do we use it? Well, this one's pretty simple. If we want to do a simple extrude, pulling out a face, click on the face, make sure extrude is selected. This does not really matter, and then you just pull it out. So we'll grab this, and we'll pull. And you'll notice now it's going to jump to a default, which is our small portion here. And if we keep going, we can keep pulling. We let go of the mouse. And it just made that new geometry. We just extruded that out. We could take and, for example, click and drag. We'll get a little bit of a jump. We'll have a little piece. Let's say we want it that size right here. We can then take this edge, for example, and extrude it out a little bit. And now you kind of have like a little letter L. And you could do it again if needed. You could even take this face here and pull it down. Now we have kind of like a little code hook. That's all extruding does. It simply pulls out the edges. Now one thing you might want to do after you've extruded is do an optimize. That way it'll basically try and take your smaller faces and optimize them into one single. If you notice there I did a couple different options here. I did it from here, then I did it here and here. This one was down twice. But you'll notice after I optimize I have single faces that cover a larger portion rather than a smaller portion. Now what are our options for then if we're going to go ahead and have options? Well, we have our length. This is going to be our length in units, our distance, and then we have the number of segments. This only applies if you use apply. So let's say I wanted, and this is, I'm getting really freaking confused here. Let's say, oh, let's take this. Oh, I already pulled that one up. Let's try, oh, let's take, let's take this one. Okay. So let's say we wanted to pull this one out. I'm freaking getting lost because I'm in local rotation. And I wanted to pull this out along the X. And let's say I wanted to pull it out 100 units. Well, if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell. And let's say I'm snapping on where 100 units is. Also, let's say I wanted to do something special with every other part of it, every 20 or so. What I could do is do length of, let's say I wanted 100 units, right? But let's say I wanted three, two, two special units on it. I wanted a 25, a 25, a 25, and a 25. Well, if I hit 4 for the segments, and I go ahead and hit Apply, what we're going to find is 4 units at a, 4 segments at 100 units each, which is not technically what I want. I wanted 100 total, each of them being 25. So you need to keep that in mind. It's your length multiplied by your segments equals the total. 
So actually here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with 25 times 5 and hit apply. And it's going to go ahead and give me what I want. I actually have 100 units from the start to the end, 25 in between each. So actually I can do something like that and then do this. And I get this little, and of course it's hard to see. There we go. I get this little thing like that where I've got my two little prongs maybe of a plug. Remember I mentioned we had multiple. This is all one this is five different surfaces here because of my extrude. If I was to go ahead and just select my model, optimize, you'll now find we now have one surface. So that's something to keep in mind when you're extruding. Make sure you optimize to reduce the amount of excess vertices, polygons, etc. So that's pretty much it. That's what the extrude is for. It's basically you, you grab a surface and you extrude out. And you can extrude the other direction as well if we were to... Oh, let's go with, let's say this one. And we need to be in local space, so we'll click on that. And then we'll do an extrude. Oh, stop cooperating. Oops, it would help if I actually clicked on extrude. There we go. And when we try to extrude out, the issue we're going to run into is our length and our segments is starting to have an issue. So keep that in mind when you have things selected and you're trying to pull out in a certain direction. You might run into an issue with your length and your segments causing you not to be able to pull out and extrude the appropriate direction. Now you can extrude in different directions too. So like for example this one here I could extrude in this direction and it's going to start causing some weird issues. Try not to extrude upon the same plane. Like for example, this plane here, the Z and the Y, try not to extrude upon those. It's just gonna shift it. Make sure you extrude out, basically out the face. It's meant to extend. So that's it. That is what our extrude is for. It's useful for just pulling out things and making more geometry out of something that you don't, that you already have. It gives you more geometry. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.